Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and hi if you are new here. Um, I feel like today I haven't got a lot of energy, I'm slightly hungover. But I got this in the mail yesterday, possibly yesterday I think. I haven't been here this weekend at home so I arrived home and this beauty was on my bed. Um, today I'm going to be doing a little review on the new Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. I'm going to do it today because I look like this and I feel like I need, I need some full coverage to help out with the situation on my face. I also am not naked. I'm wearing a little bandeau top. Bandeau. Bandeau bandeau. I'm wearing a bandeau. Yeah, I haven't really got a lot of energy even though I feel like I, I'm coming across as if I do. I, do, I don't. I'm just going to jump straight into this. Um, the product is £9. I have it in the colour F10. And you get 23 millilitres of product in this. It's really chunky. It's quite big. I've got the little um, concealer here, which I get in the colour C5. So the size difference. And then in this concealer, it's 3.4 millilitres. And then obviously this is 23 millilitres, which is a bit... They have got... A middle size concealer which I feel like I need to get because I always run out of these because they're so good these are four pounds this is nine pounds and yeah I'm gonna test this foundation to see if we can help my poor hungover face <laughs> right so I actually have just gone and put some primer on it's just the NYX Hydra primer because I need to get some you know is it, I've got a dry face today a dry and sad face today so I needed some moisture in my life um, yeah, so I'm just gonna go in with the. It's it's really chunky. I can't I can't stress to you. It's, it's got a bit of weight to it as well, and the brush is so cool. Like, oh my god, it's so cool. Mm -mm, love that. Um, so um, ooh, I feel like I don't know if this is my colour or not. Hmm. Oh, it's not a bad match. I feel like I am a little bit washed out today. So maybe on a normal day this will look alright. <laughs> yeah, colour match is not bad at all. Makes a lovely noise, doesn't it? Let's do that again. Oh dear. I don't know really how much I'm supposed to be putting on, to be honest. Um, apparently it's buildable, so we'll start off with that. The brush I use, I've started going off beauty blenders just because I get a bit tired, I get a bit tired of using them. So I've got a Miracle Base brush. I've used it quite a lot. I need to probably give this a bit of a wash. But um, yeah, so this is the brush I'm going to be using. It's by the brand Me, which is like M-I-I. -I. Um, I got it at the salon my mum works at, so I don't know. I think you can probably get this online. M-I-I. -I. Um, it's a really good brush. It literally will just like blend it in straight away. Okay, colour wise I've really matched that up quite well, I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was gonna be a little bit dark, but it's not. The colour is pretty much spot on actually. So if you if you're a similar colouring to me, then this colour F10, the one I got, yeah, F10 would be perfect for you. Um, it says it's buildable so I'm going to put a little bit more on, just a tiny bit, maybe over just the problemed areas. So yeah, I'm just going to put a tiny bit more on. That lovely noise again. Let's see what this concealer looks like over the top. So I'm just going to put this underneath my eyes here. A little bit on my forehead, my nose and my chin. Ooh. Doesn't that look nice? And then I literally am just going to blend it in with the same brush. They blend really well together. I feel like this could be a winner. This could definitely be my new Faye foundation. And I've tried 
quite a few of the Revolution foundations. The foundation sticks, didn't agree with me, didn't agree with my face, I don't think. This I'm finding a lot better. I think with the stick one, it was a little bit, it's quite thick and quite hard to blend in for me. But this one is working wonders. So I'm gonna go off camera now, do the rest of my makeup, and I'll be back with my final thoughts. Hi guys, so I'm back and I have finished the rest of my face. Um, I have just gone with like a simple look, but I would 100% recommend this foundation if you're looking for a full coverage foundation that's cheap, under £10, so, no it was, it was £9, so yeah, under £10. Um, it's easily accessible because you can order it online and I'm sure they'll bring, be bringing it out in the store if they haven't already done so. And if you haven't got the matching concealer, I would definitely recommend that again because these two together only come to £13 and that's your, you know, liquid base done. So I would 100% recommend these two products. So well done Revolution for another banger. The foundation on my skin, because I do, I don't have like problem skin I'd say. Usually I have quite a lot of texture on my face here, um, but you can see the foundation has just pretty much covered it and you, I mean... You saw what I look like at the beginning of this video. I think I look a little bit better. <laughs> I know I said previously in another video that I wasn't going to do another revolution testing video, but I have, and I'm sorry, but they keep coming out with new products and I keep reviewing them because they're so good. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this. If you haven't got it, go out and buy one because you will not regret it. I'm trying my hardest to post every Wednesday and Saturday, and I have done so far since I've started this channel. But yeah, once again, if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel because it honestly means the world to me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. Oh, check my little teddy. Oh, I'm going to get my little teddy because it's so cute. I probably look like a weirdo now, but I think it's so cute. <laughs>